There's nothing better than jumping on your bike and going out for a spin. We all do it. We head up and down the country looking for the perfect place to meet people. We belong to clubs, we go to pubs, we go anywhere that's a nice place to ride a bike. This is obviously a bike meeting place, but this is just one of several overflow car parks for the main event, which is just over here. And when I say main event, I really mean main event. We've come to Squires Cafe, just outside of Leeds, just off the A1. It's only Wednesday night, and this place is absolutely packed. Can you tell us a little bit about your cafe here? When you bought it, was that actually a biking cafe? Um, yes, it was. Um, it always has been from the word go, from the from Squire first building it in, in, in the early 50s. We took it over in 74, January 74. I had a bike, I came here when I was 16, my 16th birthday. I was there on a bike and parked over by the wall and um, it went from there and I always said I'd buy the place and, uh, and we did. I used to buy myself something for my birthday every year. So on my 18th I bought myself a Black Shadow which were 122 mile an hour super buy, you know. And I had it all my life. And in 74 we bought the place and uh, it's, we've never looked back, it's brilliant. I love it here actually, it's, it's with my own, you know. But as you can see if you look around there's 12, 1400, 1500 bikes here and you know. And is it like that every week, every Wednesday this every place Wednesday, is Wednesday, every Wednesday if the weather's right, this is how it is. Yeah. But if it's wet and, wet and a cold night, well, it's quiet, you know. But we have an hardcore of people who come in the cars anyway. Yeah, and is it every night, is it every Wednesday or is it every other nights as well during the week? We own, we own seven nights a week. Uh, it's quieter other nights. Uh, but it gives us a bit of time to uh, get, take stock, get your breath back, yeah. get cleaned up, do the jobs. I came in 1967, 68 when I was sort of into bikes in a big way as a teenager. Uh, then I was out of bikes for years and years. Um, and really the next time we started coming regularly is from uh, about 1960, sorry, 1996, 97. But as you can see, it's a grand atmosphere. Loads of bikes, and yeah. We've come over from Bridlington, and it's a nice ride out. So, Stefan, can you tell us why you've been coming to Squires Cafe for as long as you have? Uh, I've been coming to Sherman now for since I was 15. I meet all my friends here, all good people, all bikers, and the excitement and the hospitality, the politeness, good friends, old, young, as you can see, they're all mixed. Really good atmosphere, fantastic place to be. This is Dave and Sheila, and we're come to ask them basically why they come. So Dave, why is it that you come here and how long have you been coming? Um, I come here for atmosphere. I mean, it's, there's nowhere like it. I've been to other places. It doesn't compare to, to, to around here. Everybody's got something in common. Nobody's a stranger. When you're a biker, you've got a lot of friends. Uh, my wife started coming with me. It's a night out for her. It's a cheap night out as well. I just, I just can't explain it. It's, the camaraderie is brilliant. Um, they'll all stop and help if you need help with a bike. With a car, you have no chance. It's just a brilliant place to be. Yeah, it is true. If you're pulled over on the road and you, you know, another yeah. biker goes past, you're going to be they picked up. They won't pass you. They'll stop and help. In a car, it's totally different. I have a car, but I tend to enjoy coming on my bike more than going in my car. And the people here, they're absolutely brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any personal friends that you've met from coming here? Yeah, I've met people from all over the place. And this is the meeting place. They come from miles around. Um, and you never forget them. They all say, hello, mate, are you all right? And they'll all assist. And you become good buddies and you'll meet up in other places, but we all end up here. Well, it's pretty obvious that you guys haven't come by bike today because you have your young ones with you. No, we're in the car this evening. No, no bike with these two. <laughs> so why is it that you've actually come down here? We come here a lot. When we've had motorbikes, we've always come here for the atmosphere. We know a few people here, and it's just, it's like second home. It's fab. It's really good, yeah. Do you have a bike now? We don't, no. We had bikes for about 10 years till the children came along, 
and I would imagine that we'll be born again bikers when the kids flee the nest, flee the nest sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we're sticking with the car for now. So Stefan was saying that you guys have been here right from the start, pretty much with Harry. But More or less, yes. But you've been coming years, you know. Uh, probably been coming before Harry started it. Uh, they used to pass regularly, you know, see up bikes and everything. But there were old bikes in those days. Proper bikes. Proper bikes. <laughs> These things, you know. These proper bikes. <laughs> so what bike do you ride? Oh, I had an old Matchless. Uh, 1941 uh, Dispatch Riders bike. It's an old green thing over there on the left-hand side. And that's all I ride. Oh, I have a modern bike at home as well. What's that then? Oh, it's a 1954 Norton. <laughs> and that's your modern bike. <laughs> modern bike is that. I only bring that out on a Sunday, that. So that's your Sunday best? <laughs> that's my Sunday best. My <laughs> How about you, Peter? Do you have a Sunday best bike? Um, not really. I have two. I've got a Suzuki 750 and a Kawasaki 1000cc job. Uh, but I like Quacker best because it's a bit more powerful. It's more exciting. You know, I can't ride it, but it's more exciting. Well, you guys must have some funny stories, having been here for so long. Got any funny stories that you can tell me? <laughs> that are legal, that can go on air. <laughs> <laughs> no, not a fan. No, not a fan. But, uh, apart from Harry and his doll out there, you know. So do you know where James Dean actually came from? Some uh, artijumble wanted. Sorry? I think it was an art, something like that. How long has it yes. been here? That's been here, I don't know, since before me. It's always been stood, it all seems to have been stood there, doesn't yeah. it? So what's the bet with Jimmy that we've been told about? <laughs> well, it's a thousand pound gift if you can get him to have an erection. <laughs> Has anybody succeeded so and far? It's a thousand pound gift you can get me to have an erection. So either way, it's. You're not going to print that, are you? <laughs> On that, I think we'll end. Well, there we go. A very impressive bike meeting by anybody's standards. Why did they come? We still don't know. But one thing I know for sure is that I'll keep on coming back.